Um, so today what we're going to talk about um, on this quick training, all right, um, it's going to be, you know, one of the things that we recommend everyone does when they're a new customer in the academy is we always recommend that for your first 30 days, right, to maximize your profits and minimize losses, for your first 30 days, what you want to do is take the trades that are given by the educators, okay? These are people who have years of experience and who also um, have made a lot of money in the market. So they're gonna, they, their trades are going to be, uh, the probability of it being a winning trade is going to be a lot higher than, you know, me or your, your trades because we're still in a process. We're still learning. So um, most of you guys, hopefully all of you have already subscribed to Pip Talk, which is the way that the educators communicate with us, part of the academy where they give their trade ideas, okay? We call them trade ideas. Just because we don't wanna call it trade signals just to be politically correct, um, these are ideas because we can't guarantee that they're gonna be winning trades. But like I mentioned before, you know, their probability is gonna be a whole lot higher. So on Pip Talk, you wanna make sure that you register, you subscribe to the educators that you like. Now, if you're brand new, like if you just started, you've been in two weeks or less, we always tell everyone to, to subscribe to two educators. Her name is Anastasia D. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. She's from Poland. So it's difficult to pronounce. So just know it's Anastasia D. Okay. And the second person that I recommend is um, Manny Canones. Okay. So if you're on here, you know, feel free to use the chat box to interact with me. If you are, if you have not subscribed to Pip Talk as yet, like say yes, say, say no. Okay. In the chat just so I know who's, if everyone's already subscribed. You want to make sure you have I Am Academy app downloaded and you are subscribed to at least Anastasia and Manny. Those are two educators who give out a lot of trade ideas every day um, and they have good winning probability. Now, all of the educators who are a part of the Academy guys are really, really good. Um, but we just pick those two because they, they give a lot of trade opportunities for you when you're brand new. Um, something that I recommend and I share with everyone is that as you're going through the academy, once you've completed your 100 series, which is the basics, you want to now move to go live, which is our live platform where our educators are teaching live sessions um, on the platform. Now, if you're not able to catch a live session, that's cool because everything is recorded. So you can always go back and watch the recording. But what, why you want to try to catch at least a couple of live sessions each week is because in those live sessions, they're looking at the live markets right then and if they see a setup they give a live trade idea right there on the session so you're literally able to place that trade with the educator while they're showing you the analysis of why they're placing the trade so it's going to speed up your learning curve a whole lot faster if you're able to go on those go live sessions all right now the purpose of this call today is to show you what a trade idea looks like and then also how to place that trade in your phone and how to kind of do your own quick analysis to see if a trade idea is still valid, okay? So first thing first, what does a trade signal look like? So I'm gonna pull up a whiteboard here and show you guys kind of like what it looks like, all right? So I'm gonna pull up my phone real quick. Um, let me see if I see one that's, actually I'm gonna bring up the scanner on my computer. You guys probably won't see it right now but I'm gonna look for a trade from the scanner and I'm gonna post it here the way that it will come through on Pip Talk or in our groups as a trade signal, okay? And then we're gonna walk through how to actually place the trade um, on your phone. So let me just find one here really quickly. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just looking for anything. Now guys, this may not be a winning trade. It's okay. I'm not doing any analysis. I'm literally just plugging and playing, okay? So let me just find something here. Oh, uh, okay. So let's just do this one. So I found one. I'll pull this up. Where is my whiteboard? So you'll normally see in a in a in one of the chats or in Pip Talk, a trade will come through and it'll say something like this. Okay. It'll say something like this. It'll say buy. It's, it's gonna say buy or sell because when we're trading, we either buying a currency pair or selling it. Now, when you go through the academy, this will make sense. Buy basically means that you expect the price to go up, okay? So buy means up. Price goes up, 
sell means price is going down, okay? Just keep that in mind. So it says that, so a trade idea will come through like this. It'll say buy and it'll buy or sell and it'll give you the currency pair that you're actually trading. So for this example today, I'll use this one, Euro GBP, okay? So it'll come in like this. It'll say buy EUR GBP. So the first thing you do now is you go to your phone and you look for this pair and then you, you're seeing if you're buying or selling. So you know we're gonna buy. The trade idea always gives you a couple parameters. It's gonna tell you buy or sell. It's gonna tell you the pair. Then it's gonna tell you what we call stop loss and take profit. Every trade idea is gonna give you these parameters, all right? Stop loss basically means if the trade is not going in the correct direction, stop me out of the trade with this amount of loss. If the trade is going in the right direction, take profit means take me out of the trade with my profit at this point. So they always give you these parameters in a trade. So let me just give these to you here. So in this, in this, and feel free guys, as I'm going through this, if something don't make sense, drop it in the chat or unmute yourself. This is, is a small group today, so feel free to do that. So let's just say our take profit on this one is gonna be, uh, where is this, where's price now? 0.8940. Let's just say that's the take profit, and our stop loss is gonna be 0 0.8, eight zero zero let's just say those were the numbers okay make this look a little prettier so basically this is the trade idea okay this is how it comes through in the group now sometimes you're gonna see a trade come through and say something like this it's gonna say sell limit okay and it'll give you the pair again so let's just use another pair, Euro USD, and it'll, still, it'll tell you entry, take profit, stop loss, and take profit, okay? Entry point basically means um, with, with a sell limit. So guys, some of this is gonna be kind of advanced, especially if you're brand, brand new, but this is some of the stuff you learn in the 100 series of the Academy. There's four different types of trades, okay? So just bear with me. I know I'm all over the place, but it all makes sense, okay? There's four different types of trades. There's sell limit, buy limit, sell stop, buy stop, and something called market execution, okay? Just know for this call, when you get a trade idea, it's going to say sell limit, buy limit, sell stop, buy stop, or it's going to say, if it doesn't say limit or stop, that means it's a market execution, okay? That means if you don't see it literally say sell limit, if it just says sell, that means it's market execution. So let's look at this example. This one here precisely says sell limit. So you're gonna place a sell limit and I'm gonna show you how to do that in the app right now. It's actually an option that you choose. But for this trade idea, you notice it doesn't have sell limit, right? I mean, it doesn't have buy limit or buy stop. It just says buy. That means it's market execution. Write that down. If it's not a limit or a stop, if it doesn't precisely say sell limit or sell stop, that means it's a sell by market, which is a market execution, which means you're basically pressing the sell button live in the market, okay? These other ones here, we call these pending orders. That means that the trade may not be ready to execute at this time, but we're setting it up to automatically trigger the trade. And this will all make sense once you start trading, guys. But for this call, I want you to just understand what a trade signal means that you get and how to place it. So let's just say for this, this one right here, let's look at this one here for, for now. I'm going to draw, you know, I'll, this is the one we're, we're working on right here. Boom. Okay. This is a market execution because it doesn't say buy limit or buy stop. It just says buy. That means it's a market execution. That's the reason why it doesn't have an entry point because there's not a set entry point. It's saying to buy it right now, okay? So guys, when trade signals come through on your phone and their market execution, you wanna look at what time that trade came in. Say you get a trade to your phone, it's 2.13 now. 
let's say you check your, your pip talk, you check one of the groups, and you see a trade was sent out at 1.30 p.m. It's now 2.13. If it's a buy, buy execution, right, Mar market execution, you want to make sure that it's okay to still place that trade because we're already 45 minutes past, and I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? So I'm going to share my screen really quickly and show you all how to do this on the phone. All right. If, if this is, if that makes sense to you guys so far, let me know in the chat. Okay. Go ahead and let me know in the chat. If that makes sense. Okay. It's either sell limit, buy limit, sell stop, buy stop, or a market execution. All right. Cool. I got to join the meeting from my phone, run the play to 1K. Cool. So that looks like that makes sense to y'all. Good stuff. And y'all, don't be, don't be afraid to stop me or tell me I ain't making sense to you. It's all, it's all good. That's the point of this whole call is to make sure that you leave here, um, that you leave here knowing that, no, feeling comfortable trading in your, especially if you're on in your demo account, if you're new, okay? Because the whole goal is to show you how to take these trades so you can start making money even while you're learning. Because if you understand how to place the trades, you can still make money. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen here. I've gotta give my next profile. I gotta give it all, how, how do I do this now? Sophia, make me a host. Change host, okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Perfect. All right, cool. So on your phone now, guys, you're gonna go to MetaTrader, right? Y'all can see I'm in the red, I'm losing right now, but it's all good. Okay, so, so what you wanna do when you see the trade signal come through, right? Um, someone, I'm so silly, I moved the trade off of my own screen. Someone just copied, dropped those numbers for the one that I have in, oh, it's gone off of y'all screen too, isn't it? Hang on. Shoot, that was dumb. Okay, I'm going to drop it in the chat, guys, because I didn't keep it on my screen. So I'm going to drop the trade idea again on the screen, or in the chat, because I need something so we can be looking at the same thing, okay? So let's say I said a buy Euro GBP, and the take profit, stop loss, let's say is Euro GBP. Hold on. Let's see where price is at now. I'm just looking at where price is at now so I can see, so I can just pick some numbers, okay? So let's say we're in a buy, we're gonna say our stop loss is gonna be 0 0.88, and our take profit is gonna be 0 0.8922, okay? Let's just say that's the trade idea. So remember, you guys can all see that in the chat, right? And you might wanna write it down if you're in a position to, just so you can stay looking at the screen if, you're on your phone and you're trying to toggle between chat and uh, viewing the screen. It might be tough. But this is the trade idea. Let's say this is the trade idea that was sent out. So basically what you want to do immediately when you see this is you want to go ahead and go to your MetaTrader app. You're going to go to your quote screen. Let me go to a demo account. Let's see. Okay. So you're going to go to your quote screen. You're going to look for this pair. So the, the signal says Euro GBP. So you look on your screen here. Okay, here's Euro GBP right in the middle of my screen. Okay, found it. Press on it, right? Then you hit trade. It's going to bring you to your trade screen. Now you just, end, you, now you literally, um, because this is a buy by market or market execution, you're literally just going to press the buy by market button. But before you press that button, enter the other parameters that, that's in the trade. So you see the stop loss, you go to that section that says stop loss, okay? And you type in the numbers. You literally copy and paste the number. Copy and paste the take profit, 8922. You look at it, you see the numbers at the very top, guys, that say like 0 0.02, right under market execution. That's what's called your lot size. And you'll learn about that in the academy as well. 
that's basically how much you're risking to trade. You want to go through the academy and learn about lot size, but just know for now, okay, for you, when you start trading live money, trade 0 0.01. What we usually recommend as a, as a recommended lot size is trade 0 0.01 for every hundred dollars you have in your account. For every, for, for most of you guys, you start with 50 to a hundred dollars. So let's say you have a hundred dollars in your account. Your lot size would be what I have there now, 0 0.01, because we recommend, and I'll write that in the chat, we recommend 0 0.01 lot size per every $100, okay? So if you've only got $100 in your account, only trade 0 0.01, so that's proper risk management. Now, can you trade a larger lot size? Of course you can. Would I recommend it? No, because if you lose, you're risking more of your account. All right, and all of this will make sense as you go through it. Now, if you've got $200 in your account, now you can actually trade a 0 0.02, okay? Because it's 0 0.01 per $100. If you've got $1,000 in your account, that means that you can actually trade 0 0.10. You can go up to 10, 0 0.10 because you've got 10 hundreds, okay? You've got $1,000. So this is how you adjust your lot size. So most of you guys on the call today, you know, if you're brand new, you're probably starting your live account with $100 or so. So you should be trading 0 0.01. Once. As you grow your account and make money, when you get to $200, then you can increase the lot size. Now, if you're on this and you're trading demo, most of you guys started your demo accounts with $1,000. So that means that you can trade 0 0.10 in your demo account with proper risk management because you've got $1,000. All right. So for this example, I'm going to trade a 0 0.10 because this account I'm looking at also has a thousand dollars in this demo. Okay. So that's going to be my lot size. But guys, re remember when you're trading real money, you don't want to trade a 0 0.10 out the gate unless you're starting with at least a thousand dollars. But if you're starting with a hundred dollars, your recommended lot size is 0 0.01. Okay. And I'll tell you guys what that means. A 0 0.01 which is here now, that means that every time price moves a pip, which is a, a movement in price, you make 10 cents. Now I know that sounds like what, 10 cents? But guys, think about it. You only have $100 in the account. So if price moves 10 pips, you just made yourself $1. Now I know that sounds like a little bit, but think about it. It's based on what you have in your account. So if you're trading 0 0.01, okay? So write this down, 0 0.01, you make 10 cents per pip, okay? If you're trading 0 0.02, 0 0.02, that's 20 cents per pip. 0 0.03 is 30 cents per pip. So someone, just let me know in the chat, if we are trading with a 0 0.05 lot size, how much money will you be making per pip? Someone drop it in the chat. If 0 0.01 is 10 cents, boom, 50 cents per pit. Perfect. So if we're doing a 0 0.09, that means we're doing 90 cents per pit, right? So when you get to that $1,000 account and now you're using a 0 0.10 instead of a 0 0.01, now you're earning $1 per pit. Okay? So this is what's really cool about my thing. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Got a call coming through and it kicked me off. So one second. Cool. So what's really cool about trading is that, you know, let's say, and I'll pick on you, Jody, just because I know you and I know your sons are, are going to be learning. Let's say Jody started her account with $1,000. Let's just say in her trading account, she can trade with a lock size 0.1 which means every time price moves, she's going to make $1 per pip. So if price moves 10 pips, she just made $10. Now her son, Taye, right? Her 15 year old, let's say he starts his account with only $100, right? So his lot size is going to be 0 0.01. So he's making 10 cents per pip. So if price moves 10 pips, Taye just made a dollar, whereas in that same exact trade, Jody made $10 based on lot size. Does that make sense, guys? And this, you'll get it as you start to trade, but do you understand?
But the goal for all of us on this call is to get to a place where we can start trading what's called a standard, which is 1.0. So the smallest increment is 0 0.01. The medium one is 0.1. And the big boy one is a 1.0, which means you're making $10 per pick. Okay, so check that out. So this is the, your range. 0 0.01 is 10 cents per pip. Okay. 0 0.10 is $1 per pip. And 1.0 is $10 per pip. Now, you won't be trading standard lots, guys, until you got at least five grand in your account, okay? Because the reason being is because price moves so much is volatile that you've got to make sure you have an account to withstand $10 per pip. Let's say you have a $100 account and you try to trade a standard. That means that if price moves 10 pips, you just blew your account. You lost all your money, right? Now, if it goes in the right way and it moves in the, in the correct direction, 10 pips, you just made $100. But we don't want to risk that. We want to make sure we're maximizing your profit and minimizing your losses, all right? But just know that that's the potential. We want to get to a place where you're, where you're trading standard lots, okay? And you can actually start to do that once you have like um, $1,000 in your account. You can trade a standard, which is $10 per pip, all right? Now, just to get back to, the, to how to execute the trade. So let's say now in this account, like I said, this has $1,000 in it. So I'm going to trade a 0 .10. All right, which will give me a dollar per pip. This is the stop loss and take profit that was in the trade idea that was sent out. And it's a buy by market. So you literally just hit buy by market. Boom. Trade is executed. Now look at my trade right now. So if we look at it, you can see that right now I'm in the negative. Guys, write this down. Every time you place a trade, you're going to start negative. Don't panic. Don't think you did the wrong thing. It always happens. There's something called a spread where the broker has to make their little bit of money in your trade, okay? Don't panic, price fluctuates up and down all day. Don't worry about it. Now, check it out. Here's how we look at our trade. So now the trade is in, we have executed the trade. You see all your trades that are active on your trade screen at the bottom, okay? You could click history and you see any trades that, this is the first trade I'm placing in this demo for the day, so there's nothing here. But what I wanna do is I wanna actually look at this on the chart. So you press on the trade, the little menu comes up to the bottom. You have a couple options. I want to look at the chart. So what am I going to hit? Chart. Now I can actually see graphically what's happening. So take a look at this, guys. I want to show you what these lines mean. And I want to just do something with everyone before we get off the call in the next couple of minutes to make sure everyone has their MetaTrader on their phone set up the same way so you can see all of these parameters. So check this out. Here's what's really cool about it. You see on my screen where it says buy 0.10 and it shows a little green line. You guys probably can't see it that well on the computer, but there's a little line by that buy 0.10. That shows you where price was at when you press the button. So if you look over here, price was currently, look where that little red candle is right now, the little red one or the furthest one to the right, it's right around that line. Now, when you're saying you want to buy, you're saying price want, is going to go up. So you want price to go above that line. If it's above that line, you're making money. If it's below that line, you're losing. So if you can look at that little candle right here, it's below the line. That's why on my trade screen, I'm a little bit negative. But don't trip about it. Okay, I'm going to carry it to a smaller time frame so you guys can see good. So here's my line. I want price to go above it. Now you see it's turning green, right? It's kind of, you see how it fluctuates all day. So don't trip if you're in the negative. Don't worry about it. The educators have a reason why they made the analysis for a buy. Okay, now, like I said, I didn't do analysis on this trade. I'm just showing you guys for an example. This is literally 50-50 heads or tails, right? So right now, price is looking like it wants to move in the upward direction. Anytime you see a green candle, price is going up. When you see a red candle, that means price is going down. So we're looking for a green candle to develop to go above my line. So if you look at it, it's getting close to my line right now. If you look at my trade screen, I'm probably less in negative. See, I'm only negative 50 cent because I'm really close to the green line. The second this candle passes the green line, see, it's getting closer. So look, I'm even less in the negative. As soon as it passes that green line, I'm going to be in profit. Okay? 
see it dropped way down and price fluctuates so you don't don't worry about it once you set your your parameters just leave it leave it because you're, you're gonna stay in the trade as long as you're gonna stay in a trade until price either hits your take profit line or your stop loss remember that you're in the game in the trade you still have the potential to win any trade no matter how negative you are until it hits your stop loss it may never hit that stop loss it may go really close to it and then move in your direction and hit take profit. That happened to me this morning. I was in a trade, I was negative, and I went to work out. And when I came back, it had hit take profit. So sometimes it's good to set your trades up and then put your phone down, <laughs> okay? Because a lot of times we're glued to the phone, watching it panicking and getting heart palpitations when we already set the trade, let it do its thing. It's either gonna be a winning trade or a losing trade. And if we're using proper risk management, which is the proper lot size, you shouldn't be tripping because if you lose a trade, it's not going to blow your account. The way it's set up is that even if you lose, let's say you take 10 trades in a day and you lose five of them with proper risk management, you should still win five more and you should still be ahead. Okay. So just never over leverage and you'll learn all about that stuff. But look, guys, see how I'm going in the negative now. If we look at the, if we look at the chart, it's far away from my line. <laughs> okay. So right now it's almost $5 away from my line. But I'm not tripping about it because it hasn't hit my stop loss yet. This can very well go up in my direction. So we'll just leave this open to see what happens until we're done with the call. So that's how you place a, ex a market execution trade. Now, there's another type of trade I mentioned before, which is when it, it's a pending order. It's going to say sell limit, buy limit, sell stop, or buy stop. So I'm just going to you know, make up one again. So let's just do sell stop on oh man people calling me all day hang on what's going on everyone wants to call me now that i'm on a call okay sell stop um so i'm using the chat okay guys i'm, I'm putting another trade idea in this chat i'm just gonna make up one so let's do sell stop on euro usd entry would be let me look at the chart to see what actually Euro, what did I say? Euro USD. I'll make the entry point something close so it, hopefully it can hit the entry while we're on the call. 1.12930. Okay. Stop loss will be 1.12950. And take profit will be 1.2920. Okay, so a trade will come through like this. It'll say sell stop, the currency pair, and it's gonna give you the three parameters you need to put in your trade. So here's how you do that. You go to the quotes page, you look for that currency pair. So Euro USD, boom, it's at the top of my screen, I find it. Hit trade. Now here guys, you're like, okay, sell stop. You do not hit sell by market, okay? See where it says market execution at the top? If you're on an Android, it's going to say instant execution. You press there. When you press where it says market execution, it gives you all the other pending orders. So you click up here to choose what kind of trade you're setting. So if it's a, if it's a buy, buy market, you choose market execution. If the trade says sell stop, choose sell stop. You see, that's the last one there. Hit sell stop. Boom. Now it gives you the three parameters to place in your phone. So right here in this trade, it says the entry point is 1.2930. The stop loss is 1.2950. And take profit I have is 1.2920. All of the parameters are there. That's exactly what the trade sent out. And you hit the trade place. Boom. That trade is now placed. You notice here, guys, that it just shows like a number, right? That means that the trade has not executed yet because this is a pen main order. That means that price hasn't arrived at that entry point yet, but when it does, it's gonna activate the trade. Now, how do you know if a trade is activated or not? Just like the one above, you're either gonna see red numbers or blue numbers. Red means you're not in profit. Blue means that you are in profit. If you see a number over here that's black, that means the trade is still pending, okay? So 
what does this mean? What does a sell stop mean? And you're going to go through the academy and learn this, okay? So I'm not going to really take a lot of time on this, but I'll show it for this example. If I press and hold on the trade, okay, can I do it? Is it going to let me do it? Okay, so if I press and hold on the actual trade, the menu pops up. I want to look at the chart. So basically what this means, guys, you see the lines, right? The green line that says sell stop, that's, see where the, the red candle is coming down towards it? This trade, sell stop means that when it passes my line, activate my trade. It just did it. You see it passed the line, look. It activated the trade, now you got blue and I'm in profit 30 cents. So it's saying when it hits this bottom line that says TP, which is take profit, it's gonna close the trade in profit. If it goes in the opposite direction, it hits the red line above, it says, take me out of the trade, but I lost. So right now, you see how price is fluctuating around that green line? Now it's right on the line, so I should be a little bit in the negative. You see? Now it's a little below it. There's something called spread that, that changes. Uh, like, check it out. I'm, I should be almost in the positive now. Now, you see how you have two blue lines here, right? And this is a little complicated, but... The difference between that, those two blue lines is something called spread. That's where the broker makes their money. So in order for my trade to actually be in profit, that top line has to be underneath the green line. So I know how you guys are seeing right now, the red candle is underneath, underneath but I'm still in the negative. It's because that top blue line has now, look, the top blue line was just underneath, which would have put me in, boom. So now if you look at it, watch. If this top blue line goes underneath, I'm going to be in profit. Check it up. Let's see what happens. Let's watch it. See, price is moving up. So now I'm in a negative, right? It's moving up. So I'm in the negative. So those stop loss and take profits are the two parameters to say either I'm winning or I'm losing, but those you're in a trade indefinitely until price actually hits one of those lines. So now this new candle price is going up. We want it to go down because we're in a sell, but right now it's going up. Boom. Y'all see that? It hit my line. It went below and it hit the second line that I had set. So look, the trade is gone because the tra I won the trade. I won a dollar. The trade moved one pip. I, I won a dollar. So I just made a dollar because I had the, the I had my, my stop loss and take profit really close so we could see it execute on this call. Okay. But I hope you guys saw that. That's pretty cool, right? So you saw that price moved around my number. It went down below my line. It hit my take profit, it executed the trade and, and took me out. I didn't have to do anything. It did it automatically and it secured my dollar. I made my money. Now, you won't be doing trades for one dollar, one pip. You'll be going for 10 pips, 15 pips, 20 pips. So if this was a 20 pip move, you would have just made $20. Okay, at a point one lot size. I hope that makes sense. So guys, all I want you to know is when you see trade ideas coming through from the educators, you got to go to your quote, quote screen, Look for the pair, okay? Sometimes it's going to be a currency pair. Let's say there's a, it, it, let's say they give up trade for something that's not listed here. Let's say I gave a, just so we can do one more example. Let's say we do a buy limit on AUD and ZD. So that's the Australian dollar and the New Zealand dollar. A buy limit, right? So let's say that came through on your phone. And we look here. I don't see that here. It's not listed. You click the plus at the top, okay? And now your job is to find that pair. Anything that's in Forex majors means that it has, major mean it has the US dollar attached, okay? If you see by this, this pair that I posted is odd NZD, that's not a US dollar, so it's not gonna be in majors. So it's probably gonna be in Forex. Forex is gonna host all the other pairs. So you go to Forex and then you look for that pair. So let's look for AUD NZD. There it is. You press the little plus to add it. Done. Now it's at the bottom of my screen. Y'all see it? So now it's actually there. Okay. You press on it. You can place the trade. And if this was a buy limit, I'm not going to place it, right? But if this was a buy limit, you see on the top of the screen, it still says sell stop. That's not what the trade said. The trade said buy limit. So you press where it says sell stop, get all your options and choose the right one. So you choose buy limit then you would enter the, the, the entry stop loss and take profit that was given when the trade was given up. Hit place and you got your pending order set. Okay, perfect. So now um, the last thing I wanna cover, which is exactly what Raquel is asking about right now is 
when would it be too late to execute a trade? So let me look really quickly at a trade that would have come in earlier today that probably passed. And we can just look at it to see, okay? I'm just going to type it in the chat because I'm going to switch back to my computer so I can bring it up for you guys on, on the screen. So let's look at something from Anastasia. Okay, she's celebrating. Okay, these are safe. And guys, they always say and pip talk to a lot of the educators, especially Anastasia and the ones that have you um, subscribe to. They give updates on the trade too. So if you place a trade and then it, take, it hits the take profit, they send a message to say, hey, you should be in profit. Okay, so let me just find one really quickly so we can do it. US 30. And guys, there's something called indices, okay, which is like stocks of companies, US 30, NAS 100, SPX 500. You're going to see sometime them giving trades. Don't bother with them unless you've got at least $500 in your account. Here's why. Because even at the smallest lot size, it doesn't, it's not 10 cents per pip like regular currency pairs. It's a lot more. So if you don't have a lot of money in your account, stay away from the indices because if it's a losing trade, you can lose a lot. Now, guys, y'all can make a whole lot. My homegirl, Haley, um, she made $39,000 one day trading US 30, right? If, it, if you win, you're going to be, you're going to be so happy. But if you lose, you're going to be hurt. Because I, I remember one time I, when I first started, I saw everyone making so much money trading US 30, right? But you can't trade US 30 with like $100. You got to have at least $300 in your account. So I went and put up $300 in my account. I'm like, I'm going to get this money, man. I'm, I'm going to trade. I'm taking this trade. The trade I happened to take was a losing trade, guys. I lost a hundred and something dollars in like five seconds. I almost cried, right? Because I didn't understand how those indices worked. And I didn't understand that you've got to have a big account to be able to handle, you know, if the price pulls back a little bit, it may still go in the right direction, but if you don't have enough money in your account, it's going to take, it's going to blow your account. So don't, for your first 30 days, stay away from them, okay? US 30, SPX 500, and NAS 100, stay away from them for your first month until you build your account. Because if you take a big loss with them, it could emotionally hurt your feelings. You might be like, I don't even want to trade no more, all right? So I'm telling you, stay away from them. Those are not for beginners. Um, but I'm still looking for one trade idea really quickly so we can just do a, a quick analysis on it, and then we can be done. Oh, let's find one. Let's find one. Okay, so EuroCAD. Come on, Anastasia. She everything she has is indices. Okay, here, here's a good one. So this one is Euro GBP buy by market. Okay, 